What's up guys, we're about ready to install the Coleman Mach Bluetooth ceiling assembly into our Airstream base camp. Uh, so we'll take a look at the pieces and parts here and then we'll start the install. Alright, so here are the parts. Uh, and what we're actually going to be doing is installing this bad boy, uh, as you can see here. So this is going to give us a couple options with our air conditioner that uh, came stock with the Airstream base camp. Now this works on any uh, now you have to pair up your serial number to make sure you get the right assembly but this adds some Bluetooth controls so now you have a digital readout and also what's actually cool is this adds uh, some down vents so the air conditioner will actually blow down on you versus uh, just the ends which usually hits the back and the front of your RV so this will give you some options here when you're sleeping since normally these AC units are above the bed to actually blow down onto you as you sleep. And again, this gives you Bluetooth controls, um, so you don't even have to get up if you're just using your phone or your tablet or whatever. Uh, you can connect to this and control your, your, your temperature. This also is equipped for the heat strip. Uh, so again, you're gonna wanna check your model number on your existing unit to make sure that you pair it up and get the right uh, Bluetooth assembly uh, for your model. And again, this is the Coleman Mach Bluetooth ceiling assembly. And shout out to uh, Air Excel and Coleman Mach for sponsoring this video and providing this Bluetooth assembly for us to install. We'll flip it over, and as you can see here, uh, Climate is the app. It is available on the Google and the App Store. Uh, RV products based out of Wichita, Kansas, Air Excel. Again, the app, additional features. This is a 12 volt DC power supply included. Air distribution fan can run continuously or cycle off. So that's something that you're gonna get with this. Replaces existing 8000 and 930 series non-ducted ceiling assemblies and it is heat strip ready. And that's not available on cool only ceiling assemblies. So make sure you know that. Pop out retainer grills, which is easy access to washable filters, which is already there. Um, and again, low profile and omnidirectional uh, levers which uh, is direct conditioned air downwards into the interior in any direction closed to direct air forward and aft so there you go you've got some definite options with this guy and uh, looking forward to installing it again most of the pieces and parts right here a little baggie uh, this little power supply this here this is a uh, piece that actually vents the air down. You're going to need to actually be able to circulate the air down into that because right now you don't have something that does that uh, if you were to tear off your assembly. So all that stuff is what we're going to install. So we'll get that working and we'll be back and show you some examples of the Bluetooth Coleman Mach assembly. Alright, here during install we have gutted the piece in here and you can see what uh, comes stock so we'll be replacing that guy right there and probably replacing this with the piece that came with it down here so still in progress all right so we ran into a little problem installing uh, the Bluetooth assembly um, got it all installed uh, and it was working fine on high cool and then when I would swap it down to low cool, it would trip the breaker, which was completely confusing um, because if you're gonna trip the breaker, you'd think you'd be tripping it on high cool versus the low cool. So doing a little research, um, now again, here, here's like the part we pulled out. So this is the original piece, all right? Um, a lot of the original parts, uh, I just left in there. Um, I did not actually have to uh, use a lot of the new pieces and parts here as you can see a lot of the screws I just reused them uh, the face plate here I didn't have to take it out I just reused the one that's in there I just left it actually I didn't have to take it out so you can reduce the amount of work that you need to do uh, so this is the piece though that gave us a little problem 
This here is your controller. This has got your Bluetooth sensor and this is how you control high cool. So actually you turn it on, it's like low fan, high fan, then it jumps to high cool and then you jump to low cool um, and I think there's heat in there too somewhere. Uh, the minute you push this and hit low cool, I mean, it kind of smelled something weird and then it tripped the breaker. Um, so didn't know exactly what was going on. So I took a picture of the circuit board here and I started zooming in on my phone to try to determine like, is there like a solder joint or something that's not right? And you try to go down this list, this row here, and it should attribute to like low fan, high fan, yada, yada, yada. And so you can kind of find the low cool circuit. Um, and I determined that right here, it looked like the circuit was broke. Now uh, there's a capacitor here. This is the high cool. Why wouldn't there be a capacitor here? Yeah. So I went back to the box and sure enough, this was damaged in shipping. There was a capacitor in the bottom of the box that probably should have went here. So um, I did reach out to the company. They were very, very good. They sent me a whole new circuit board to replace uh, this one. And lo and behold, there is a capacitor there. So when I was going to low cool uh, without that capacitor, it was causing all sorts of issues and it would kick the breaker. So did want to bring that up in this install here and this is the old face plate here as well so let's go take a look at what I did inside for the new install uh, before I seal it all up and I did take the old um, this is kind of the wind tunnel basically I did take that out and put the new one in just you know this looks kinda you know it's double stick uh, so I just took it out and put new in so let's go take a look at the, the new setup, and I'll show you what we've done. Alright guys, welcome back. So, the controller board is way up here. Okay, so I mounted it, I got a couple of L brackets, and I mounted that controller board up underneath here. Uh, hard to see, I've got this back on. Uh, I do have the uh, screws right here. Now, where did that bad board go? Right here. This is what it looks like. Look at that. There are two capacitors, the low cool circuit right there and the high cool circuit. This was not too easy to get out because they had hot glued all four corners to the circuit board. So I had to use an X-Acto knife and get enough of that glue off of this to get this board out and then this one snap in. Now I need to get some more hot glue because this is not really, I, I see why they did it. You're gonna be pushing on the other side of this and it can pop right out. So you don't want that to happen. So before I put this back on, I'm gonna go get some hot glue and I am gonna hot glue it to the circuit board to prevent that. That's exactly why they did it because I was testing it, pushing it hard from the other side and it would pop this thing right out. So that's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. Um, and so basically here's what you got. These are, this goes to the controller board uh, that I've mounted back here. And then this is your thermostat, which you mount right here. This is your room temperature. So these eventually connect to these two plugs that go to the circuit board. And again, on the other side here, you're gonna have a digital thermometer display and some vents that come down. Uh, it gives you some options, which are really, really nice. Um, and again, you know, like I said, I did uh, use new uh, wind duct tunneling here and then just put this right back up so uh, you know it, it is a work in progress hopefully we'll finish this series in this video one of these days um, so the goal is to get this hot glued and then um, sealed back up here and then we'll test and make sure everything is good to go so anyway guys, this is the installation again of the Eric Cell Bluetooth assembly, the Coleman Mach version, as we continue to battle issues with multiple things here. And again, this is not uh, something that uh, you know was wrong, it just was damaged in shipping and somebody broke off that capacitor. So it uh, does cause problems with no capacitor there on the low cool circuit. Anyway, we'll be back hopefully with a working version so we can demonstrate the Bluetooth app and everything else. All right guys, welcome back. So, pardon the noise, but it is hot in here and I do have this running for purposes to demonstrate. 
So the Bluetooth assembly is in, as you can see. Uh, it does look pretty much like the original, except for it has a uh, electronic thermostat here versus the little switch on and off. And it gives you some of these uh, air directional vents, which is awesome because that comes straight down on the bed, which is just amazing uh, if you're laying in bed right here taking a, a little siesta or trying to sleep in it. So that is phenomenal. I really do like that. Um, so let's look at what this gives you. Obviously it gives you a readout. You can tell what the temperature is and you can adjust it uh, up down. And then also you've got your mode so you can switch between all the different modes. And this also does give you the ability for it to not run constantly. You can put it in an auto mode and it will go on and off versus running all the time. That may be very helpful if you're running on a generator of some type. So you can actually save some generator power uh, and gas or whatever by kind of limiting when this runs. Uh, in the old mode, uh, the compressor goes on and off, but the fan always runs. Uh, this one, we could actually have it turn all the way off and on. Now, some people won't like that because they like the ambient noise, the white noise that's always going on, drowned out sounds in the campgrounds or in the boondocks or whatever you're doing. So, you know, and then you don't have to use it. It does give you the ability to have that auto feature. So, that's a part of it. The other piece is, it is a Bluetooth assembly. So, it gives us an app. Coleman Mach, there you can see. Current temperature is now down to 77 degrees and it's on cool high. This is the main... Uh, uh, obviously air conditioner you can have multiples on here you can control more than just one uh, current sitting again we want it on 69 cool high so we can adjust it via Bluetooth and if we click on the settings it gives us the zone name so this is the main this is the only one in the base camp the thermostat uh, model ID and the function so we could go heat cool off cool auto high, cool auto low, and then just cool high, cool low. So, you know, again, if you want that on and off feature, you can use the auto. And then you hit set, cancel, or you can just remove the thermostat altogether. Uh, I'm just going to cancel because it's, like you said, uh, like I said, it's 77 in the uh, base camp right now. Um, so, it's a little warm. It was about 86 or so uh, when I did start this. So, it has come down now 10 degrees as it just switched to 76. So, uh, very, very nice. Uh, gives you some flexibility to run this from your phone. You don't have to get up and hit the little thermostat button or anything like that. Uh, so that is pretty kicked butt. Again, this is the Bluetooth assembly from Eric Cell Coleman Mach. Right there you go. Uh, make sure that you get the model number of the one you have down uh, in your actual RV. And make sure that you know you go out and you see uh, which type it is. Um, you know all. You know you just want to make sure you get the right assembly for your model. And uh, so that's exactly what I did to make sure that I've got the right one. And again, apologize for the noise. The install, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, again, we did have that little problem with our circuit card that got damaged in shipment and the capacitor fell off. Uh, but uh, that was easy to replace. This is actually the, the circuit board is what's right behind this. Uh, and when I went to low cool, it would chip the breaker. Um, so definitely an issue that there was a capacitor missing on the low cool circuit, uh, which you know it didn't really know how to handle without that capacitor and it would just trip the breaker as a safety precaution. So good thing that safety precaution is there. Anyway guys, this is the Coleman Mach Bluetooth assembly. Uh, I have to say I like it a lot, especially with these down vents. That's probably my favorite uh, of, of this at all. This is a direct air down versus having to go to the front to the back. So very, very nice. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thank you.